There they are folks, bottom right corner, Daddy Goat and Baby Goat. So Gary Kasparov, legend, greatest of all time some say, and Ali Reza actually referenced Gary as the goat in this tweet here which he put out soon after playing in this event. So Ali Reza Firuzja, who's he? Well, if you don't know, he's a phenomenal chess player, 19 years old, rising superstar, maybe a future greatest of all time. I certainly think he'll be a future world champion, in my opinion. Now, this was a 960 game, or Fisher Random it gets called, 960 possible different starting positions. Gary had white, Ali Reza black. Let's have a look at what happened here. So Gary kicks off with this central pawn move. A lot of the principles stay the same. You want to fight for the center. Gary takes it. Ali Reza now strikes. Gary now takes. Pawn recaptures. He develops this knight. Ali Reza does the same. And he now does a castle. So watch the white king here. He castles it like this. You can still castle king side and queen side as long as you've got the pieces cleared out of the way between the rook and the king. So Ali Reza does the same. This knight now develops to d2, knight c6 from Ali Reza, pawn to c3 covers this critical square that two knights were looking at, and now bishop g5, more good development from Ali Reza, and after this knight moved out of the way, we see the bishops getting chopped, queen recaptures, and now this knight hops into f4, that newly weakened dark square, and after Gary goes knight to h5, challenging this strong piece, this is where the game just explodes into tactical fireworks, so typical of Ali Reza's style, because he could just recapture here. The bishop takes back, then you develop like this. So many players would play like this. You can drop the bishop back, cover this knight, and Ali Reza could challenge the open file. You know, something like this, very solid, not much to choose between the two players. But what Ali Reza does here is go bishop to e6. So a beautiful counter-attacking move. Because now if you take here, well the bishop's going to take here with a good game, you're hitting the rook. You can even flick in this one first and prepare to take here. Black's actually a little bit better. So Gary takes the plunge here, best move. He takes this pawn on e5, so he's now weakening the defense of this knight here. Now if you recapture, Gary takes here, good game, he's won a pawn. So that's why Ali Reza chops on h5 here. Now we had Gary taking on c6, that one's forced, you don't want to be a piece down. And now again Ali Reza doesn't play this recaptures here, then he'd be a bit worse after the bishop takes here. So instead he now plays bishop in c4, counterattacks this rook, so he's going to pick up an exchange. So the knight hops back to d4, has to save itself, Ali Reza now takes on f1, the king recaptures and he saves his knight. So although Gary's lost an exchange, and I mentioned he played in the best manner here, these were all the top computer moves, for that exchange, he's now got this strong extra pawn coming through the center, and that gives a lot of compensation here. Now you could go knight d5. Ali Reza didn't do this. He likely was worried about bishop to b3. You pressure this knight, and if you defend with c6, top move, well now knight f5 can come, look at that newly weakened square on d6, lots of nice pressure for white. So instead of knight d5, knight d7 came, hits this pawn, Gary kicked on with pawn to e6, looking to rip open towards the king, we had captures, knight recaptures, hits this rook, and it slides up to f6. Now it looks like you're just winning your exchange back immediately with advantage and a pawn, but taking with check is the key. So that's why this wasn't played immediately. Instead, what Gary did here was bishop to b3, sets up some nasties against the king, it slid over to here, and now he does go in for this line, takes on c7. Good move. Ali Reza chops. Queen recaptures. This one moved away to d8, and now the knight has to save itself, Actually coming here was technically the best move. Maybe Gary didn't like this one because you're walking into this self pin here. Although the queen is protected, the line could go something like this. And again, it's fairly level. Ali Reza gets some pressure here, but Gary's got two pawns. Now we see something similar in the game. Gary goes knight d5, hits this rook. It saves itself. Now he goes queen e3, knight f6, and he takes off this knight, there's not much else you can do, 
Yasser Sirwan was looking at c4, supporting this knight, but the problem is knight g4, double attacking here, and then you've got uh, huge problems. So the knight took here, rook recaptures. Now we had pawn g3, gives the king some room. b6 now from Ali Reza, covers here. Now we had queen e4, so looking to probe away, maybe giving a check one day. Ali Reza goes queen f8, hits this pawn. The queen slides back and queen over to a8, threatening to come down here. So king g1, rook back to f8 now, looking at the back rank, maybe sliding here soon. h4 gives some room, rook e8, queen d2, and now queen e4 from Ali Reza. So he has the pressure here using the exchange, plus look at the clock times. That's where he's really now squeezing Gary. And this is the trouble when you get older and you play more chess, you struggle to keep up on the clock, even if you have the ideas in your head. So here Gary actually makes a mistake. So his best move here was queen to d7, counter-attacking on the rook, keeping it honest on this back rank. But even this isn't simple. You could check king g2, rook f8 puts pressure here and actually whoops turn my phone off and actually the best way to defend this pawn is go f4 which looks very loose but it's hard for black to do much more than perpetual because if you go queen d4 well then there's problems with queen e2 attacking this pawn c4 would have to defend it but then there's queen f3 check king g1 rook e8 all starts to look really, really scary with these invasion squares, especially if you give your king some room. So I'll stop it there with this line, but it's to show the point that it isn't easy for white to play, even though Gary goes wrong here. So he goes king h2, stepping away from checks, but this runs into queen e2. Big mistake, because two pawns are now hit. You can't defend both. So the queen came away to d4, still holds this one, but Ali Reza now goes rook f8, pressures it once more, the king covers, and Ali Reza takes here. And Gary just goes, you know what, I know how good this guy is. That pawn's now collapsed, this one's now weak, he's still got the pressure, he's got the time on the clock, I resign. So he threw in the towel here, Ali Reza took the victory. So 1-0 to the young gun in this game against the old king. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to see another fantastic game from Ali Reza Firuzja, then do see the video on screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.